Hey, what is good my friends? Welcome back. So today we're going to be playing Cyberpunk 2077 on the Asus Nitro V or Asus Nitro 5 and well, we're going to be playing it like this. It's currently on a little laptop stand which can be found down in the description below. It's hooked up to the power and actually there's not a lot going on. Here's a little image of the stickers on there and there we go just the mic we're currently really playing on performance mode let me show you now i do think the fan curve on this thing is a little aggressive you can tune it down um, you can set it to a custom fan speed but it's it's rather aggressive it, it's not it's unnecessarily aggressive i'd say because the temperatures are very much in check so cyberpunk we're going to be playing it on. Let's start off natively. The performance on this thing is amazing. This laptop is $750 only. And we're playing ultra settings. This is native ultra. And would you look at that? We're almost hitting 60 FPS. Let's mess a bit around with the settings and with the LSS. Once again, the frames are actually really, really good. Let's turn DLSS on, so that was native. But I think most of you will be using DLSS. We'll also try frame generation. Now, if you're into these benchmarks, I'm gonna play many more games. Also gonna do a live stream and see what that is like tomorrow. Come on, shoot me. There you go. Shoot it again. Boom, headshot. What is this? Nice. Okay, let's whoa, let's get out of here. We gotta run. Police is chasing us. <laughs> Alright. Let's move out here. Let's turn frame generation on. See what that is like. And then we're gonna try with some ray tracing. Now this is a 75 watt hole bro. Oh no, they cut me. This is a 75 watt GPU, let me show you. So we can go to control panel. We're also playing on the discrete settings. We go to system information and over here you can see it's 75 watts. So let's install the camera back. By the way, if you're wondering what is recording, uh, is the device I'm recording with, this is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And it's a very, very nice device for well, recording stuff like this. Okay, we actually have to get somewhere. This is not safe. We have to turn into a ninja. Let's reset the benchmark. I don't think you're gonna get that much out of ray tracing, especially like path tracing. 
Let's see if that's even possible to turn on path tracing. I think you need more path tracing. Oh, it's very heavy with ray reconstruction. Well, attaboy, good luck. Let's see. Oh, what? Okay. So the frames are very artificial. <laughs> you can definitely tell. Oh, it looks like garbage and it's got an immense input lag. It's kind of expected with 4050. <laughs> it's totally maxed out. It actually hits 70 F, 75. Yeah, so this GPU is kind of hitting the max power limits. Oh dear. Okay, let's turn path tracing off. Let's see. You don't really want path tracing here. So just normal ray tracing. Like that. Well, you can hear the fan spinning up. It's still the temperatures are really good. Oh. Whoa. We have to get in the car. So vehicle combat. That is intense. But look at the frames. Frames are still good. So let's turn ray tracing off again. Let's put the settings a little lower, like that. So let's say you want to play with frame generation and a quality DLSS. <laughs> and wait, we I think we can use a quick preset. So let's just say you want to play like on high settings, like that. Super resolution, quality. So high settings. Wow, look at those frames. This is very responsive, by the way. So if you don't really like ray tracing, like me, I, I mean, I like the visuals of it, but it makes the game feel very sluggish. This is actually not bad performance. Okay, let's see what happens when we turn the Acer Nitro V in a lower performance mode. So let's say we're going to go to mode and we're going to play in the quiet mode. Fan control. Well, that's disabled because it's in quiet mode. So this is the quiet mode. Okay, that was kind of to be expected. Um, we have lost a little bit performance, but temperatures are still in check. FPS still in check. Let's see if it lasts. Oh, we're stuck. I can't move. No, I can't. Let's blow this car up. Oh no. NCPD. I don't think we're going to make it. <laughs> Stand there. Nope. We can't climb over the barbed wire. 
still, still, still angry with us. Stop. I have a sword. By the way, if you're wondering, material, why does your voice sound different? I have a cold and it kind of messed up my voice. That's why I didn't really do videos. That's one way to exit a car. <laughs> I have a human shield. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see what happens when we turn all the settings down to low. So let's just go low settings. Frame gen, like that. It just scales down the usage of the GPU. We're still in silent mode, by the way. Let's see what happens if we turn it back to performance mode. So, look at the clock. doesn't seem to really change. But over here, the core club usually goes up. Yeah, there we go. And you can hear the fans spinning up. And we have significantly more performance now. So when you play low settings, you might want to switch over to performance mode to get the max FPS. Also for the max sound. <laughs> so which game should I play next? Let me know. I'm probably going to be live streaming with this really soon. And once again, let me know which games you want to see. I can do that during the live stream. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching. Peace.